And joining us tonight at 5 o'clock, damage assessments are now underway in Lawton following severe storms last night. And that includes farmers getting a first-hand look at the damage done to their crops today. News 9's Tevis Hillis joins us live from Lawton with just some of the damage they're seeing. Tevis? Amanda Colby, good evening. This is just one of the many fields the Sullivan family owns. By just looking at it, it's beautiful. But if you take a closer look at the product the family needs to turn a profit, it was hit by one too many hailstones. Normal standing wheat would be up, standing straight up. So the more that wind shakes that head and it beats against each other, it knocks the seed on the ground. The seeds they need to turn a profit. And that wheat is unable to be picked up. Josh Sullivan says that half of the field is a loss. It usually averages 50 bushels an acre, roughly $180 an acre just gone. <laughs> Over at one of his other fields, more damage done. Laid a lot of tree branches down. We've had a pivot blow over on our sod farm. We've got to get that assessed. Comanche County Emergency Management reports a tornado hit Faxon. While Sullivan was harvesting a wheat field, he saw the debris from that storm. It was dust coming off the ground, and then you could actually see where it was going up to. The tornado hit most of rural southwest Oklahoma. In Lawton, the severe thunderstorm left cars damaged, signs down, and one roof in a pool. While many are left hoping this is it for severe weather, Sullivan is asking for just a little more rain. Uh, ground moisture wise, we're, we're fine on ground moisture. Uh, pond water, we are still short on. We need some, some runoff rains. And the Comanche County uh, Emergency Management Department tells me they have gone to 113 storm related incidents just this last evening. Live in Lawton this evening, Tavis Hillis, Oklahoma Zone News 9.